Whoosh! Whoosh! It's delivery time! <laughs> so, welcome back to another Mystic Warrior video. And I got some more BCMs, BCBMs, whatever you call them. And I just thought, let's take a look. Today we're rocking it out with the Shining Legends mat with three shiny Mews. Gonna try to open five packs and see if we can't pull that shiny Mew. Thought I'd bring out the Lucky Mew again because with my other birthday video, I was not able, you know, to upload it. So, anyways, let's just get cracking into it. I have about three packages and I'm gonna try to open up... I think like a total of six packs of Pokemon cards. If you guys don't know, I have a current giveaway going on. And the previous video is the way that you can get your first entry. And I'm going to explain two other ways to get an entry into this giveaway. And right now, I had only said that we would do a um, Darkness Blaze pack. But I have decided we are going to do a first, second, third possibly even a fourth place that means there'll be four winners and multiple chances to make it into the top so each place will receive a sealed darkness ablaze pokemon sealed pack but anyways if you guys don't know i actually have <laughs> what are you doing Cheshire. Cheshire knew me. well as you can tell our star is back. Anyways, so I got a cyber power PC and luckily that's how I'm able to do my videos now. Well, if you have a cyber power PC or you plan to buy one, make sure you register because what you can do is just go online and do a simple review of the PC that you want um, that you bought or just whatever model it is. Then they'll go and they'll review your review and then you can get a free mouse pad just for doing that. And I really needed one of these because I can't find my other mouse pad. And I mean, you could use one of these, but golly, take up the whole entire space up there. So this one is actually really big too for what I need, but I'm okay with it. Looks really neat. I like the orange against the black. And I think this will grip well on the table and everything. So I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. But this was completely free. So in case you guys are interested and you have a cyber power PC or plan to get one, just remember that you can review and get a free mouse pad. I don't like cyber power PC so far. It's worked pretty well. Alright, on the pack. It's numero two. Oh. Oh no, where did Sharp Tastic go? Oh, right here. Hello! As you can see, Pokemon Center. So, I thought to myself, I know. I just I have this feeling that Shining Legends is going to become more scarce. And even though I do have loose packs, I do feel like getting some from the original Pokemon Center will help have a better choice, like, better chance of pulling something. I could be wrong. I don't know. Oh! Packing slip. Let's see what we got. So, this was actually an accident because I thought I had already ordered this box, and apparently I did not, but I had to do it. I love that Mewtwo promo. So, we have a Shining Legends pin collection of the Mewtwo. Super stoked! And then, actually I don't know which one this is, but we have a blister pack with Rock Ruff in the coin. I really wish I could have gotten the Team Up blister pack. I was watching Poke Rev unbox um, Team Up. Oh, there it is. Forbidden Light. I've never opened this set either. <laughs> Just super stoked. For some reason, I thought I had gotten a blister. I mean, like, just a standard blister. So I'm going to actually keep that one sealed. But I'm hoping that our muse bring us luck. And all of these glorious moments. This one is a big one. Ugh. See? We'll go back. It's a pretty big one. So anyways. Oh my goodness. 
sharp plastic help. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, so I actually have more packages in this coming as well. I've actually decided that I'm going to invest a little bit from now into the 25th anniversary and I'm also going to try selling some cards and trading some cards as well so if you're interested take a look at my eBay store and this is actually another way that you can enter into the giveaway take a look up there on my YouTube um, profile page or yeah I think that's what it is and you can get that out of there <clears throat> What you can do is click on the, I think it's the Tumblr one, maybe? Because I've been playing around with social media as well. And the Tumblr, I was kind of interested in. But we went ahead and we got a more Shadow Shining Legends box pin as well. Super excited. <laughs> A Zorark Shining Legends pin box. And we could not go without the Blots and Pikachu. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. We're going to get us a shiny collection started. And all of these were typically much cheaper than what I was finding online. The pin boxes at Pokemon Center are $15.99. They're kind of ranging on that, but I've seen a big increase since I bought these. They are going anywhere between maybe like 18 to 20 bucks online, maybe even more. I have no idea about this one, but I couldn't not do it. I love purple and dark. Oh man, he's rocking that, or she, as far as I know, is rocking that purple like a boss. And I had to get the figure. <clears throat> I just had to. So, but you know, I couldn't stop there. <laughs> You're like, what in the world? We went ahead and we got the Zorark Shining Lection. <laughs> Shining election. <laughs> Let's vote for Zorak as president. Be better. <laughs> Let's see who trumps you now. So anyways, special collection. I've been doing a lot of that recently, and I think it's due to my sleep. My AC broke, like, recently, and my sleep has been, like, just horrible. Raichu pin collection. Oh, I mean, not pin collection. I think it's just like promos, but they're still like those promos are so beautiful. And I mean, I went ahead and I did it, and this is not the end yet. And you will see when it actually comes in. But this, all of this is what we've got so far. So, you know, we're not going to stop there. We have to do some partying with this shiny legends. We will unbox these on the channel though at some point. But I don't know exactly when because we're going to try to do our base set first. And I also want to try to get my hands on some hidden fates, but that is becoming even more and more scarce. Like it's even harder to get hidden fates. I didn't even know about that set. I thought it was a booster box. So, I'm sitting here, and I find out later by watching, I think it was Ando and Pokerev, like, oh, no, this is like Shining Legends. And I, I don't know what it is, but I love the Wooper in that set, and the Quagsire, and I don't even like pink that much, but man, they look sick. So, I'm going to give a free code here. I know this is weird, but this is a Wayfair code, and I know I won't use it. So, if you, for some reason, <laughs> are shopping at Wayfair or Plan 2, here's a 10% off code. Good luck. Hope it works. And you can also get free shipping over 35 bucks. Now, we know that we're mostly a Pokemon channel, so I'm going to go ahead and give away another Shining code right there. Good luck. And if you guys get anything good in these codes, let me know in the comment section below. So, I know that I was trying to explain to you guys about possibly another way well not possibly there is another way so I was telling you to go to my tumblr so after you go to my tumblr there is a section or a page on there that says request a trade so all you have to do is read the information about the trade and then get into it just follow the directions and then 
we'll see what happens and we'll try to set up some kind of trade. It can be anything that is available on my eBay site. It doesn't have to be Pokemon. But if it is, so be it. That's not a problem either. And I also bought something else. And I know that there's a lot of controversy over weighing packs. But I am curious because I just want to know. And secondly, my reason is a little bit different than what some people would probably say. And I just want to, like, I don't even know if this works. I've never tested this. I'm still opening all five of these packs, but I just want to know. And let's just test this. Let's figure out if this actually even works for this set. I don't even know, but man, I'm really excited either way to try to pull a shiny Mew. So this one weighs at 21.77. So I'm going to put this over here. Let's see. This one weighs at 21.8. I kind of feel like that's the same. And see, all of these come with the hollow, so it's going to be very difficult. This one is 21.83. Wait, was this 21 as well? Yeah, it was. Wow. So all of these are pretty much in the same. Unless this is like a failed scale. 21.85 and a 21.84. So I'm pretty sure that these are like heavier than these two were. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. It may not be anything at all. I've not really played around with it enough, and I've only noticed like a 0.10 ounce, or whatever that weighs in, grams, ounces, I don't really know, and the difference. But let's actually see if that has anything to do with these, because I have no idea. I might have to weigh packs that come from an actual booster box to see any difference. Um, I am going to link in the description the Pokemon Center. Holy mother dog. <laughs> Attack of the zombie cats. Oh no, it's a sign. Get rid of the pack. <laughs> Some bad omen. Cats and jinx. But, um, let me see. Okay. I don't even know if these codes are even correct either, because, I mean, technically, you would be getting something in every pack, because it's a hollow, but we'll find out. Which, like, I don't know. But anyways. Darkness to go with our cats. Howl. Switch. Oh, yeah. So, if you... By, what the... Oh, Jinx was in the beginning. <laughs> this is like becoming some crazy crap. Um, but anyways, so click on the request a trade. We'll try to work something out. If we actually get to initiate a trade, that will give you guys an extra... Um, I'm going to actually give you guys a couple entries for a trade. Because a trade is something that's pretty, you know, out of your way. So you can get five entries per trade that you do. So that's a really easy way and I have like a once list <laughs> and I'll probably add stuff to that I just that's what I'm in need of at the moment I'm gonna have some base sets cards on there and they're not all hollows like some of them are just some simple like um whoa a Mewtwo G maybe I got mixed up in my man I don't even know if I have this one I do know that I have a lot of GX cards though so We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I do have to go through some Shining Legends as well. So, man. And a reverse Zorua. And it's really interesting because I, I... In the previous video, and I wish to goodness that I had recorded some of this, but I had some Air Shining Legend packs. And the Hall of... I think it was Shining Legends. And the hollows were sparkled around the entire card, kind of like old school graphics. It was so cool. But, um, since we got a pool, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys this code. So here you guys go. If you get anything, let us know in the comment section below. And, um, we'll also have an entry for the giveaway in this video as well so if you don't care to like and share and we'll try to get as many people in on this giveaway so we can have some some fun and depending on how this giveaway goes out there could be some base set fun in there just so you know <laughs> pokemon catch a super scoop up a spirit tome and a bread loom i don't know where this accent came but it's coming today <laughs> versus wakarona and a holographic keldeo it's really cool i don't know if you guys can hear that but 
That's my poor little cat that's sport rotten. Hey, we'll just go ahead and put the Mewtwo up. Come on, give us some pulls. Actually, I'm not, I'm actually really happy with that Mewtwo GX. Even if I didn't get anything else, I would be happy with that. But I have to say, there, like, there's just something about the blue Mew that I really, really like. And that is my goal. I'm like, man, I want some Mew up in here. Oh, maybe we can get it. Maybe we can get it in the Mew pack. You know, I can't even remember, but... You know, that was... That's true. So I bet you, like, the 0.10% could possibly... I'm not saying is, but could possibly be the difference of a GX and a holographic card. I mean, that would make sense. Because it doesn't have texture. But we'll see. We'll see what we pull in these. Yeah, that's right. Uh-oh. If this were a good card... It would suck on the grading, because there's, like, two streak marks here on the back. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, see, like, I don't, they're, like, lines. And that would probably definitely dock this card. Fire! Conavine. Ooh, I really like the artwork on that. Volcarona. Ekans. Pika! Crazy woman! Walking down the street. <laughs> Reverse Pikachu. And a Shaman Hollow. I'm telling you, I have really good luck pulling the Shaman card. I don't know if this is something that's, like, just common in the set. But I don't know, this review, this reverse Pikachu might actually be a decent pull. I know a lot of people enjoy the Pikachu cards and stuff, but two Rayquaza packs left. Alright, pick any mini money. Ah! <laughs> I guess this one is the one. Good luck if I was even going to grade any of these after throwing them around like crazy woman. But, making a decent time because I unbox stuff plus some opening packs. So let's see if we can get anything in this one. Okay, no crazy streaks. Hmm, that card felt thicker. I wonder. Ultra Ball. Ooh, Venusaur. I forgot that this was in this set. Golet just like, I'm just doing my pumping every day. Do you even lift, bro? Ooh, Zora. These, yeah, these weigh about 0.10%. 10, 10, 10 ounces more. So, so weird. And we got a reverse rare. Nice. I've never really pulled like two or three of these, but that's cool because I was actually wanting to start my $3 packs again and do like some kind of mystery boxing type stuff and like. It's really cool because I like making them. They're so fun. And I put, like, vintage cards in there, too. And a lot of my vintage cards are either near mint pulled from, like, fresh from packs. And I even have a couple of first edition cards. From this point forward, though, I might grade some of them because the value of that, man. The value of those is skyrocketing. So we are due for a code. So here you guys go. If you get anything, let us know in the comments section below. Hopefully you guys are pulling some stuff in those codes. Alright, final pack. I'll try to get it on so we can get through here. And I'm going to have some more packages, so I don't think I'll open Shining Legends in the next couple ones, though, because I'm going to try to save 40 packs to open all at once. So, I don't know if I did, like, the weights right, but I do think that those .84 packs were supposed to be um, GXs. And the other ones were hollows. So that's good to know. So if I if it goes any higher than that on the weight, then you've probably got something else in there. But um, I'm not doing that to, you know, be unethical. Holographic and Zekrom. But when I get towards the end of completing a set, I am considering sending off packs to PSA grade. So... You know, I'd rather not send off packs that have hollows in them. <laughs> Whether I would sell the hollow packs or open them, I don't know. But, or even use them in, like, some of these mystery stuff things I was thinking about making. Regardless, I have had a blast opening these packs. Oh, let's go over our major pools. Um, it was pretty nice to get all of these. I think my favorite hollow pools 
were actually the, I don't know, I, even though I pull Shaman a lot, I really do like that card, and I liked the reverse Pikachu, and it was cool to get a reverse rare, but we got two Mangas right here, and I have to admit, the Mewtwo looks boss, so who knows, hopefully in our next pulls, we'll actually be able to pull some, maybe a shiny Mew, like I said, I have some more stuff coming in, Pokemon World, and so in the previous video, I asked you guys how we could do giveaways to make it better. And I told you guys about what my TC adventure with you guys would be. If you guys wouldn't like that, I mean, it sounds fun to me to go way back, do some vintage packs, do some now packs, and just complete all the series together. And I even came up with some really cool new giveaway ideas. But I'll save that for our base set party that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. So if you haven't, click that like and subscribe button, and let's get the party started. So anyways, for this specific giveaway, tell me what you would think about this. I've been going over in my brain about trying to help charities, and the only thing that I've been able to come up with at the moment, considering the fact that I'm opening a lot of kid-related items, is like a group effort to raise money and possibly visit St. Jude's Hospital and give out presents to the kids and maybe even like open some packs with the kids that enjoy Pokemon. Um, maybe even get some of the kids' stories, what they've been through, and maybe even upload that at some point in time afterwards. And just let them have some fun and get in on it. I don't, I don't know how to bring it together. I feel like if the community came together and did something like that, the impact would be so great. And, I mean, that's not, like, the only thing I want to do. Like, I was thinking about, like, homeless people and just, and not with Pokemon related. Like, that doesn't really have anything to do with that. I was just thinking of the stuff that I had available to me now. Like, what I could do in regards to that. Like, I could even make some of my mystery packs and mystery stuff for them. And even take some sealed packs, too. It just depends on what I've got coming in and what I can do with it. But, I don't know. I just thought that that would be something very interesting. So, if you could give me some ideas below and let me know what you think about that. That'll also give you an extra entry into the giveaway. So, right now, for this current giveaway that has four to five places as far as, like, winners. For a sealed Darkness of Blaze, at least. So, as the tiers increase, the more prize you get. You have an entry from the previous video, which I'll link at the end card of this video. You'll also have possibility of getting an easy five entries, depending on if you have anything on my wants list, or if you just have happened to strike a nice little deal that I'm interested in. For any, pretty much anything on my eBay store. And then there's also this video, where I want to do... Uh, the charity work. If you, that'll give you a total of seven entries into this one specific giveaway. And that's not the end of it. So if you're really interested in getting some sealed packs, I would definitely try to do some of that stuff. But anyways, until next time, you guys have a blessed day. Try to hang in there. I know it's been pretty tough. And um, try to stay positive. Let's just come together as a community and stay strong. We can do this. We are the Mystic Warriors. So until next time. <laughs> What's the peace sign again? <laughs> Rock on, dude. <laughs>that reached a hundred million people I tell them there's a reason that we're all created equal cause some decide to be great and some decide a sequel to an average person's life is simply what they want to be so you make your decision all I know is what I'm given won't define the life I lead or the way I dwell in existence I've seen a greater image on the walls of where I'm living and the words twisted and scripted remind me of something written